Dave, what do we think about the judge's decision? Well, I don't want to cause controversy, but it seemed as we were both immobilised at the same time. Yeah. And uh, we were actually showing signs of life. It was actually, we couldn't physically move across the arena floor, although our motors and drives and stuff were still working. We still had radio contact, etc. Um, so why couldn't you physically, I mean, were you immobilised? That's the key thing, isn't we it? We were immobilised, as in we could not move. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the definition of the word, isn't yes, it? Yes, but I didn't see them exactly doing a lot of sprinting either. Exactly. So anyway, you yeah. know what's happened, don't you? We do. That uh, the mousetrap possibly aren't going to be back in action for the next round anyway, in which yes, case we you will that. go through. A little smile just on the side of my mouth. Yeah, just on the one side. <laughs> just 50% a little bit. smile, yes. 50% yes. tears. So you're going to make some repairs anyway. It's as good as repaired now. It didn't take you long, did it? There's not. Well, there's not a lot to go wrong on a very basic robot like this. Of course there isn't. Indeed so. And uh, if you could have had a bit more technology, would you have had? Oh, no, indeed. If you had more tech... In fact, the only piece that's broken, our switchboard, there's loads of things connected to a block of wood, and the only bit that's broke is this PCB. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> You can't get the parts, can you? <laughs> Let's go and see what the mousetrap think about all that. Team! Oh, yeah. You were lucky on the judge's decision. Oh, we were very, very lucky on the judge's decision. But perhaps not so lucky now. What's happening? We, we found out the problem. We got the main switch burnt out, so we're just fitting a new switch in it. Is we're it going to be, be simple to running. fix, do you think? Yeah. Well, here's the switch. We just right. replace that, basically. It's, uh, we know they're Ten faulty. pence worth of problem? Probably about 10p, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit, bit, bit more, maybe. 10p or a new PCB, or your guess is as good as mine. I hope it's digged for victory next time around. He's been great fun with something. They're out, though. And, of course, it means that the Heat K final, Little Fly against Mousetrap. <laughs> Let's have a look back at the road to the Heat final, then. Mousetrap beating Evil Weevil, first of all. With the help from the arena floor flipper. And then... Rather controversially, was it? Edging past something, thanks to that. Meanwhile, Little Fly, with something, was beating Weldor. They were pitted. And then Little Fly took on Tiberius. Tiberius and all sorts of problems against the arena sidewall and against the house robots. Little Fly team about to go into the heat final. This is serious, isn't it? Because it's your first time on Rebel Wars. First time. An incredible achievement, really. Didn't think we'd get this far. We're glad. I mean, every battle we've got now is just a bonus, so glad we've done it. So if we win, we win. If we lose, we've enjoyed ourselves. And you're swapping drivers. You're taking turns, aren't you? Yeah, it's my turn. And it's your turn now, so you're my the most turn. nervous, are you? I am. Yeah. You haven't had a go, I take it. No. No, no. Looking cool and composed, the mousetrap team, or perhaps slightly exhausted, now I can see your faces. <laughs> this is the furthest you've come, because you were in the wars last year. That's right, yeah. And went out in the first round. Indeed, yeah. So you've done incredibly well. We have. You're pleased Free. with yourself. We are, yeah. Father and son team, very nice to see. Yep. Now, I think if your weapon comes down on the little fly's spinning plate, I you're in it, with a serious chance. I think it might break off, yeah. It might break it off. It's got some... Um, uh, fairly weak uh, armour on the wheels as well, which I think might cave in, possibly, if it works. Two robots left, only one place in the series semi-final. It's number crunching time. It's the third and final round. From Dover. Little fly. With its lawnmower blade, go-kart wheels, wheelchair motors, Andy Hoskin at controls, John Woodward there, and Richard, his son. From Oxford and Bristol, the mousetrap. With its unique weapon, Stan launched it on the left, Dad to Jason on the right. Loves his hill-walking, Jason. Robert is stand by. Three, two, one. It's actually off to Peru later on in this year, uh, Jason, for hill walking. Jason at uh, the Andes, not hills, actually. Little fly spins away. There's the rotating blade. Well, a shard of metal flew up in the air there. Off mousetrap, off little fly. Too difficult to tell, really. Mousetrap again, just waiting. Come into my parlour, said the mousetrap to the fly. Little fly, not buying that. Back 
taking away. Oh, dear, oh, dear, when that comes down, there's some force. So, it's the blade against the immovable force. They've cranked the weapon back. Will it come down? Will it buckle that blade? No, it bounced away. Off the frame of Little Fly. Shell is aluminium and withstanding mousetrap. This, you know, is very even. And unless there is a driving disaster, it could go all the way to a judge's decision. The damage on the back of Little Fly caused earlier in the heat, not in this final. But Little Fly edged against the inner now using great power and pressure to push back. Mousetrap up to 12 and a half miles an hour. Little Fly only four miles an hour top speed. On the attack, trying to maybe use the blade to sever the spring of the mouse trap. Well, hey, mouse trap has driven itself onto the blade. Little fly backed onto the arena floor flipper as well. Edging away very slowly. Aggression by mouse trap. Don't forget, this could all come into play if it goes to the judges. Damage control style and aggression. They'll be looking for mouse trap on the attack. The wedge shape, classic to Robot Wars. Pushing Little Fly into the CPZ. Matilda is there to try and get an attack with the tusks. Flipping Little Fly. The attempt was made by Matilda. Her tusks are raised. Still in the CPZ now. Little Fly needs to get away from there. Don't forget the house robots can't pursue across the arena floor unless you are immobilised. There we're seeing the launch breeze of the controls of Mousetrap. Here we're seeing Andy Hoskin, John Woodward and Richard Woodward at the controls of Little Fly. Backing perhaps to have another attack. This is going to go to the judges, I'm sure. The heat will go to a judge's decision. It is very, very even and difficult to call this one. Cease. Beyond my limited powers, anyway. I wonder what they think. Very, very, very difficult to call. That's one for the judges, I'm afraid. Craig, for the first time, I am beaten. I have not the faintest. Little fly on the attack. Wedged on now, Strap, though. There's... Aggression from Mousetrap and again, it's too close for me. Little fly into the CPZ, could count against it. And under pressure from Matilda, I don't know, I just don't know. Too close. Well, feels like I've been holding your hand forever. It's been a long one, deliberated long and hard, guys, a tough decision. They've been looking at style, control, damage and aggression. And they've gone for Mousetrap! <laughs> It was touch and go. I bet you're gutted, aren't you? Yeah. It was... I would not... I would have given it as a draw. Go and blame the judges, OK? I would have given it... It was so close. Don't worry. You'll come back next time, won't you? You'll do better. Yeah. It was just... Forgive the pun, but it was, you were a gnat's breath away, weren't you? Oh, well, we did and very well to get this far, so we're well You've, well done, you've done splendidly, yeah, and we've well enjoyed pleased. having you. Yeah. And don't you be so upset, young man. We'll have you back next time, OK? Let's hear it for the little fly! It's <laughs> 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 close. <laughs> it was. Uh, it I was mean, because when they were looking at damage, because you I mean, your mousetrap thing was damaged. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I thought you'd just... Broken. Yeah, the chain's broken, yeah. so it... Yeah. Okay. So I, I was, you know, I was yeah, thinking well. it was going to go the other way, me. Yeah, and me, yeah. yeah. At least it did go this way, but it wouldn't have surprised me one up to any bit. You're in, the, the, other way. You're in the series semi-finals. Oh, oh, magic, yeah. That's more that's you could have dreamed of. That's absolutely yeah, excellent. Absolutely. Are you going to make any alterations to the robot? Well... It can't be this close <laughs> all the time. <laughs> no, we were saying that there, there is a, a higher-grade chain that we can fit to replace the chains that we broke. According to our calculations, it, it shouldn't have broke, but it's all prototype stuff, so you don't know where you are, you know. All right. See you in the series semi-final. Yeah. Let's hear it for Mousetrap! <laughs> well, we've got our own rules, and we've got our own laws. The controversy reigns on Robot Wars. Bye-bye! M&M battling it out with Bob the Builder to be top of the pops over on BBC One in a moment. BBC Two goes jiving with Deborah Ball next. <laughs>